This is this is nonstop. This is action. This is a oh, really yeah. fan friendly event. Yeah, we don't we don't stop for anything. This is uh, it, it's one right after another. Yeah. Um, you know, we want to make it make it fun, right? Because especially if you're here for one fighter, you know, we want we want you to stay, right? Yeah. We want you to stay, have a good time, be, be, get excited by the fights. We kept on having great and that. It yeah. ruins the flow. 100%. So many times when we watch pay per views and big box events, they're, they're filling time until the fighters yeah. are ready, until the commission allows it, until the TV slot is there. In this case, once the train is moving, we got action here. Yes, the train does not stop for yes. anything. I love it. I love it. And now, fighting out of the red corner, weighing in at 154 pounds, fighting out of 10 hand fight sports and trained by Randall Pogue, Joyce Jazz Hands Adeluba! And this is a situation where I'm very happy I'm not the ring announcer, because I don't know if I can pronounce that name just as well as he did. It's a great job by our ring announcer tonight, and you see Jazz Hands, I believe, was the nickname for Joyce Adeluba. I like it. Uh, she's an attorney. And raised over six thousand dollars, which again is, is absolutely incredible. And our ring announcer, Arthur Berwick, the fourth, is doing an incredible job as well. She looks excited. Ready for this moment. This is such a unique moment for anyone. So unlike last fight where we had massive hype differences, we were very even match from a weight perspective. Um, it ain't right. So, um, so again, we'll kind of see. I know it was a very fair fight at the midway point. Um, so we'll see who trained harder in the last two months. That's what it'll come down to. 100%. Height, weight, and age. Uh, so they're you know both fighters in their prime here. And uh, we're gonna get Bianca Solori And now to fighting the out of the blue corner, weighing in at 154 like the, uh, the pounds, fighting out of boxing on brawl. How do you like and the walkout? And trained by Izzo cool, Siciliano. Right? Make some noise for Bianca Solori. It's, it's a really, you can feel the energy of the walkout coming off of the stage. You see, I mean, and, and you see that with Solari embracing this moment. And look at that, yeah. Engaging with the fans, supporters. Oh yeah. Energy, That that if there's one way to describe the Fillmore right now, it is energy. And this is only fight two of 12. And this is not what you see in a normal amateur fight night. Not at all, not at all. This, uh, the lighting, the, the atmosphere, and that's partially because we talked about this is a very unique opportunity for these fighters and friends, family, supporters in the crowd. Uh, so, so many different reasons that that, that energy is, is, is here and, and we're And I really, I really love the Fillmore. It's such a, it's such a fun venue. And as you see, people are packing in behind us yeah. even. Very, There's just very not much space. Venue. It's very intimate venue. Sponsored by Olu um, Tola. Great acoustics. Ah, and I think the, the energy is going to be fun, especially when these two women Referee for this looks match like they're ready to rock. Joe. Yeah, let's throw it up to Arthur Berwick, the fourth, who's going to get us started in this fight. You see the tail of the tape there. And referee for tonight for this one is Joe Devon, who does run uh, USA Boxing Potomac. So a veteran of this, a veteran of the sport, um, has you know volunteered as a ton for the sport here in Philadelphia. Always great to have someone that has that experience in the ring to be the third man in the ring to help things go smoothly because that's what we want, especially with fighters who are making their first appearance in the ring. So actually, at their at their meet at their sparring day, we actually have these guys come. Uh, we pay them to come for the day, so it is they do have that third person in the ring. Uh, because that is such a difference maker sometimes. Fast pace in this one. A little Adelupa different. versus Solari. Round one underway. Solari in the blue. Adalukba in the red trunks. And both women motivated coming out strong. Yeah, a little different setting, a different tone than the last fight. I see haymakers being thrown yes. here. 
Haymakers are, or punches are flying. Bad intentions on, on every shot. And one thing I'm noticing too is combinations every time. You're not seeing just one punch. You're seeing two, three punches at a time from both women. And they both seem pretty strong, right? They are really going after each other here. There's a controlled aggression because it's they're, they're both feeling the power of each other's shots and they're also throwing back on their own. So it's an it's, uh, evenly matched fight so far, one minute down in round one. And here we go, we got some good phone booth action. Both women fighting toe to toe in the center of the ring. Nice jab there for Adelukba that, that got through. And there, there it is again. That, it seems like that jab might be there throughout the duration of this fight. Yeah, the one thing I'm always interested in with these fights, uh, as this is someone's first time, is that one minute in between, right? And so, you know, with pros, they can listen to their trainers, they know what they're doing, they can make adjustments. The interesting, the interesting thing will be, can, you know, can first time fighters calm down enough, you know, because the spotlight, the moment is huge. Um, can they make those adjustments midway through? Do they, will they listen? Um, and can their coaches motivate them? The, the adrenaline certainly at a top level. And, and now we see coming to the ring, Adelupa our ring car warrior, acknowledging her fans Joey and supporters. Duggery. He was diagnosed with brain cancer just before his first birthday. He had a tumor brain surgery at six months of treatment, including three bone marrow transplants, and is currently cancer free. It's really great to see. Make right? some noise for Joey Duggery. Incredible. Diagnosed with brain cancer before his first birthday. So sad. As a, as a parent, as just a, a reminder, ladies and gentlemen, if you're taking child, pictures, just please just make sure right your flash is off. No it's flash. Just to hear that, as uh, three-year-old now, it's cancer-free, and just oh man, what a, what a special moment for him as well. And it's great that the crowd acknowledges them, just as much if not more than the fighters themselves. And that's, that's certainly well deserved. As we get into round two here of our second fight of the evening, Solari in the blue trunks, Adelupa in the red. Spirited matchup so far. Two motivated men, women that were fighting in the center of the ring, trading combinations. And this time a right hand gets through for Adelupa. Ooh. Looks like Solari felt those, those couple punches. Certainly got the attention of Solari there. And Adelukba doing a great job of utilizing movement. We see her moving to her left and then stopping and planting and landing combinations like that. Looks like Solari landed one there though. No quit in either of these warriors here in the ring. Pace has definitely slowed down a little bit. It looks like they might have come out a little hot in the first round as I'm sure is customary for fighters yes. who <laughs> are not used to, you have to conserve energy. But at the same time, it's it's only three rounds and you know you don't have time for feeling out round as, as well. Yeah, it's a tricky balance. Absolutely. Let's go. 30 seconds to go in this round two. It could be up for grabs. Solari, Andrew mentioned, it, Maybe a slightly landed. slower pace, but has landed some shots as well. Woo! Nice punch there by, by Bianca. Ten well, seconds to go, round looks two. Looks like we're gonna go to the distance again, potentially. Some wild punches at the end here. <laughs> that was round two. So on my scorecard, and it's I now have it time even. for the third so and final round. round three again. We Welcome go. back to Here the we ring, Joey Duggery. Go Joey, go Joey.
Nice chant from the crowd. The crowd getting into it now as they should. Now make some noise for Joey Duggery! Three years old of personality. It has really filled in here at the Fillmore, huh? It is uh, shoulder to shoulder here, standing room only. Uh, we got fans everywhere. Philly, if you're ready for the third and final round, make some noise! I think if you left to go to the bathroom, someone would take your seat. Sorry? I think if you left to go to the bathroom, someone would take your oh, seat. Oh, yeah, I'm not getting up. <laughs> I don't want to lose this seat. I know, I have to even turn, I'm turning you up in my ear because of it's, it's we can hear the energy in the, the crowd here. Round three underway. I'm sure coach's instructions said, hey, hey you got to keep that output up for two more minutes. You can rest tomorrow. Two more minutes in this final round. But don't. But again, the challenge is don't blow it in that first minute, right? And then have nothing for the second. Unless you're stopping the fight. It's, it's the tricky balance we've been talking about. Not a Lugba. Did land some combinations there, landed a clean right hand. She seems to be more patient in this round, counter punching, letting Solari punch first and then punching through her punches. But Solari does seem to be controlling the center of the ring, although that was quite the exchange there. Solari is moving forward. Adalugba landing in combination as a counterpuncher moving backwards. So two different styles, both effective. All right, last minute, let's see what happens. Let's see what they have left in the tank. This fight seemingly could be up for grabs. Joe Devon doing a good job explaining the rules. Always good to have a veteran referee in there. 30 seconds to go in round three. Who wants it more? I don't, oh, wow. I thought Adelube had her, and then Solari came back with some big shots. Couple to the body there. Every time you think one person is going to get away with it. Not in this one. Nope. Oh, here comes Adelugba. Left hand, right hand. Oh. Is that going to be a standing eight count? Looks like an eight Looks count like to end an the eight fight. Count. That might have uh, sealed it for That might have sealed the deal. For Joyce. And that'll be the end, of the end of the fight there. Another close one, really great. That's great to see. Competitive, both women motivated, supremely motivated. And both seem to have long arms too, right? They're both very loopy with their, with their punches. And both landing in combination, both had Ladies good defense. Ladies and make some noise for both fighters. Make some noise, make some noise. You can hear the crowd here. It is, it is. Literally standing room In just a little bit, you're going to see some volunteers coming around, ladies and gentlemen, with raffle tickets. The winner of the raffle is getting a four-pack to come see a concert right here at the Fillmore. Raffle tickets are $20. All right, so how'd you score it? Or you get three I had it even them. going into the third round. I gave out a look about that last round, plus, plus the 10-8 uh, uh, for the standing eight count. So out look about takes that fight on my card. All right, let's see. Let's see what the refs saw. But great performance by both women, and, and I think Solari can also hold her head up high. We'll, we'll obviously see what happens. And the winner by decision, fighting out of the red corner, Joyce Jazzes Adeluba! Jazz hands, as she's known, gets the victory here, well earned. Got the standing eight count on her opponent in the final round.